The earthquakes that shook the Santa Rosa area last week happened along a fault line many of us had never heard of before, the Rogers Creek Fault. Not so for earthquake scientists. They've had their eye on this cousin of the Hayward Fault for a while. And as NBC Bay Area's Christy Smith shows us, the recent shaking could produce a mountain of information. We're standing on the Rogers Creek Fault, um, close to Windsor. Suzanne Hecker is a research geologist with the USGS, working in two trenches to uncover what's been going on beneath the surface. We're studying the history of large earthquakes, so we are trying to find out how many large earthquakes have been in the past, how often. And discover what's happened with the fault and its movement. The Rogers Creek Fault was the source of the pair of quakes that shook Santa Rosa and the surrounding area last week. We've learned that it actually is the continuation of its kind of more famous southern cousin, which is the Hayward Fault. The study is ongoing and had been planned. They just happened to schedule this excavation two days after the earthquakes. It's a process creating maps of the trench walls and studying the sediments underground that have been broken by the fault in the past. That's basically what we're looking for, is things that don't make sense unless you've had fault movement to bring them in contact. The thing that, that jumps out to me is the fact that this is this is clay sized material and this is gravel and sand. Chad Trexler is a research geologist working in the trench. If you think about the the amount of energy that it takes to move clay sized material mm -hmm. versus uh, you know a, a cobble the size of a golf ball, this is a much higher energy depositional environment than this. So you wouldn't you you can't easily deposit material like this directly next to material like this. It is like archaeology of earthquakes, basically. You can think of it that way. Digging up the past to get a better understanding of earthquake country. The magnitude 4.4 on the Rogers Creek is a reminder that this is an act of fault um, and that people should prepare for this kind of earthquake. Christy Smith, NBC Bay Area News.